she gets into bed was when you guys had sex together was that pretty quickly after she came home i think it was around like 2 30 because she i felt like she'd be in bed for, for a little while a little bit okay yeah. then a couple hours of sleep alarm goes off mm-hmm. okay you go down you make your food oh yeah i got like cottage cheese and another couple of things i made okay. food that day okay and then so you come back she's asleep and then you just kind of nudge her but yeah i just kind of like you know, hey for a and was there a nudge talk for 20 minutes or was it just a nudge and then all of a sudden you're on top of her? Nudge pretty much on top. Okay, so that happened pretty quickly. Yeah, it was that probably kind of pretty much talk. Okay, and how long did you talk? About 15, 20 minutes. Really? In that position? Okay. Um, what did the talk, what, what did the talk consist of? Basically just the, about how, oh, at first it was more of like the, you know, selling the house type of thing or not going to Aspen or trying to maybe go in a, at a different time and then just switched all to the, I don't feel like I'm in love with you anymore, not compatible, and went to that. And that's when I got to the heated part of it. Okay. Did she ever say at some point, get off of me or anything like that? At the end. Yeah. That's what she said. I don't want you to feel like, you know, because where I was, it's kind of like she didn't want me to like to, you know, sit down or like hurt the baby or anything yeah. like that. Did she accuse you of cheating at that point? Mm-hmm. So what'd she say? She's like, I knew there was somebody else. I knew there was somebody else. I, just, I, I didn't come out to say, you know, that there is somebody else, but she obviously already knew. No, your response to that was what? Did she say, no, there's not? <clears throat> Did you deny it? I believe I just denied it, but I mean, at that point, Cause I'd always, cause when she would accuse me at the beach, it was a lot of like, there's nobody else, you know, there's nobody else, you know, for like, you know, and when we got back home, she always like said, there's gotta be somebody else, cause she'd always talk to her friends, like Christina or somebody on text messaging. And they'd always say, there's gotta be somebody else. If he's not wanting to sleep with you, like he's getting it from somewhere else. And there's, you know, there's nowhere else, I mean, she couldn't really say that I would get anywhere else because I was using those Android gift cards, so it's kind of like, you know, she just mean me getting distant, but she knew, and I just, that's, that's mainly the reason why I talked to her, because I knew, like, after that night, it was just like, it felt like, I just felt guilty, more guilty than ever before. Yeah. Trying to think of the last, last things we, just, we were talking about, but it was, you know, I don't feel like I love you, love you anymore, and then she was like, you're never going to see the kids. Oh, so then, as soon as she started talking like that, then it was on. Okay. But it was you saying that you didn't love her, is that right? Okay. And her saying, you're never going to see the kids. Yeah. Okay. I can imagine how that made you feel. I'm sorry. It did, it did more than what it did. Yeah. Um, and then, the fact that she didn't scratch at you or anything, is that just because it was so powerful? I don't think it, I mean, I didn't feel like I've never done that before, put uh-huh. my hands around anybody before, so I don't even know what kind of force I was putting on her neck. Okay. It, like I said, two to four minutes, I don't know if that was two to four minutes. Did you cover her face at all during that time? Both hands on the neck. Okay. And so, if it's done right, I mean, that can be a matter of seconds before someone on their carotid loses oxygen to their brain and is out, right? Did it seem like it was that quick, or...? Okay, maybe a minute, maybe two. Okay. Now, as hard as that was, if you need to talk about the girls too, okay? All right, thank you. Um, so with the girls, you talked about how they uh, got into the truck with you and were alive, okay? You talked about before that Bella walked in, though, to the bedroom. Can you tell us about that before you left? Yeah, it was, I was just getting, like, getting the sheet off the bed, and she had walked in. And she had her little pink blanket with her. And she was like, what's, what's wrong? What's wrong with mommy? And where was Shanann at that point? Yeah, just pretty much on the bed, but she was face down. Wrapped in the sheet? What'd you say? I just said, you know, she didn't feel good. That's when I tried to carry her downstairs. Shanann? Okay. Did Bella see you do that? What was Bella saying? 
she started uh, crying a little bit. She's like, what's wrong with mommy? And what'd you say that time? I said, she's, she doesn't feel good. She didn't, she's a smart girl. She didn't, she didn't know what was going on there. Mm -hmm. So she followed you and you pushed Shannon in the truck. Yeah. And then what? I got, Cece wasn't up yet. She was just in her room. She was getting ready to get out of her bed. And then they were just walking around the house. I was with the, put my lunchbox and stuff in the truck and then grabbed the kids and I put them in the bench seat in the back. Okay. When we were driving to the site, she said, Daddy, it smells. Oh, okay. Once you get to the site, tell me what happens. I get to the, that one site and I get Shannon out to that, go over to the part right off the side, the site there. Okay. And then the girls, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You mentioned Bella was first. Cece was first. Okay. Um, where exactly was she when it happened? In the back seat. Okay. Was she just right next to Bella? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so. Um, so once again, was it a hand over her face? Was it? It was a blanket over and my hand. And then your hand, okay. And then so that just stopped her from breathing type thing? Okay, did she struggle at all? I don't think so, but my, it, I was blocking her face and my hand was right here. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. You had one hand here and one hand over her mouth? And we're just pushing her against the back of the seat type thing? Okay, what was Bella doing? sitting there next to her. She didn't know what was going on. Okay. Could she see you? Okay. Um, and then once she's gone, then is it Bella next or is did you pull CC out? I pulled CC out. Okay. So once CC's gone, Bella's still there in the car alive, and then you pulled CC out, what did you do with her? Okay. So she went into the tank and Bella was still in the back of the truck alive. Okay. And then went down to Bella. Tell me what happened there. She said, what happened to Cece? Or she asked, it was, it was the same thing, the exact same thing that happened to me as Cece. Did she ask you that? Okay. So Bella's pretty smart. How did she sound when she asked you that, Chris? That, that, that soft voice she always had. Yeah. And what exactly did she say? She said, exactly the same thing that happened to me as you see. And then I said, I don't even remember what I said. Okay. I don't know if, to, if I just said yes, like a horrible person, or if I just put, the sh put that blanket over her too and did the same thing. Same blanket, same way? Mm-hmm. Okay. She said, no, Daddy. Said. So once that's done, then what? Go over to Shanann. I 